Our first list of references is a bibliography for a business report or in business style and is therefore single spaced. As you see the instructions over on the right, we are going to press enter five times to begin the first line two inches from the top of the page. Then we're going to center and type bibliography in all caps and bold and then change it to 14 point font. So to center, we'll use this command in the paragraph group. We'll turn on bold and we'll turn on our caps lock key. Now we're going to change our alignment back to left and I'm going to select bibliography and change it to 14 point font. We need to apply a hanging indent. And this is the most important part of the bibliography and other lists of references that we need to learn. Here we'll apply it for each paragraph in the rest of the document by going to our paragraph group, clicking the dialog box launcher, and under indentation and then special, we're going to select hanging indent and click OK. Now notice the change it makes to the ruler. You can drag these indention markers yourself, but sometimes it's tricky to get them in just the right place. But this is what the hanging indent looks like on the ruler. You'll notice that we type the line using word wrap and the hanging indent forces it into this style automatically. After we finish typing, we're going to hit enter twice to put in the next entry. Notice that in the rough draft in the book, the titles are underlined. That's all you can do in handwriting, but we convert that to italics when we're typing the bibliography. All right, this is our finished bibliography. You can see how it looks with the formatting marks on and when we turn them off. Give it a double check and then return to GDP to check your errors.